G'day, thanks for clicking the link. My name's Chris and I do things like electric vehicles, battery storage, renewables, and more from an Australian perspective. You wanna see more content like this? Subscribe, turn notifications on, otherwise, enjoy. Last week, myself and many others were getting upset by this bloke. His name, Ben Barr. He's the CEO of the Australian Energy Market Commission, or AMC, or AMC, yeah, AMC, as I like to call them. And well, these guys, they're the, they're the rule makers for the Australian electricity and gas market, and they provide um, develop, development and policy advice to governments. So when they announce a tax on small-scale solar, that's basically home solar, ladies and gentlemen, millions, and I do mean millions of Australians, sit up and pay attention. So what's got everyone's knickers in a knot? AMC has proposed a new charge of two cents per kilowatt hour for energy exports in the middle of the day. Capped at a maximum of $100 a year, this solar tax for exporting solar power to the grid is controversial because AMC believes that this will help reduce traffic jams on the grid and allow network networks to tailor their own pricing mechanisms to ensure the investment in parts of the grid where it's needed. Now, can I pause for a second? This seems very much like a, it's not my problem, it's your problem. My inverter works with local power supplies. It synchronizes and it sends out power to be used again somewhere out there in the greater wide world. And this helps saturate the Australian marketplace with renewable, clean, green power, which is a good thing. But I get it. Sometimes the wind just blows too much or the sun is too bright and energy operators don't have anywhere to put it. Or do they? Mid last year, the Australian Energy, or excuse me, the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA, who support research into development like you know, renewable energy, things like solar, wind, things like that, along with Ausgrid, the, the Australia's like uh, East Coast Elect Electricity Distributor, they set up some framework and real world projects and trials on this community batteries. These are actually large-scale grid-sized batteries of at least 100 megawatts and mean that small-scale solar, again, home solar, my solar, your solar, is collected locally and in a shared battery. In turn, these homes receive money for sending power to it, which they might then draw on later when the sun doesn't shine or, say, if someone in the community needs that power now. It's essentially a win-win. But... I guess in defense of AMC, you don't get something for nothing. To have one of these batteries on a curbside near you, you have to pay for the cost of it. You become an investor, and as such, you can access all the benefits that comes with that. It's an interesting concept, and the maths must work out. Otherwise, who would do this sort of stuff? Because literally, these things cost tens of thousands of dollars and wouldn't get off the ground, would they? So, returning to the topic of charging homeowners for a solar feed-in uh, tariff, mm, yeah, a solar tax, we'll call, I'll call it a solar tax, it seems a little on the nose, as local generators were helping to dec decrease coal and gas power plant use, and by extension, were helping to clean the air and decrease Australia's emissions. Yet, AMC wants to allow electricity retailers the ability to charge small guys for something that is a commercial problem. Get the idea again? It's not my problem. I think it's their problem. Looking to Australia as a whole, Tasmania is the only place right now that actually is putting out more renewable energy than they can actually consume. 105% by last news time I reported it on about a month ago. So they export clean green power interstate and Australia's uh, grid is all the better for it. But conversely, overall, the Australian grid right now is essentially still 70% fossil fuel based. We've got work to do. And taxing the small guys for the bigger problem here, I don't think is the answer. Right now, more than 2.6 million homes are running on solar. That's about 30% of Australian homes, and they're contributing 12 gigawatts of power to the grid, 
which helps everyone actually lower their electricity prices and hastens the exit of dirty old coal-fired power plants and what actually makes utility uh, companies embrace this energy transition. The community battery idea is not new and I remember hearing about it two years ago uh, whereby local um, uh, suburbia uh, people who set themselves up are actually uh, have been installing these batteries to soak up the solar that gets installed in those areas because typically in new suburbs, people build into the cost of um, the house solar. And so there's a lot of solar in those areas. And oh my gosh, how many times have I said solar? But you get the idea. This is a, a good answer to obviously a problem. But, you know, I get it. This two cent charge could actually help uh, build like more local batteries and uh, add yet another connection to another wind farm or another solar farm. Um, AMC, make it fair. Pay small scale uh, operators, <laughs> you and me, pay us the same feed-in tariffs that you pay the big guys. Then I think you'll have a system that rewards people for installing solar.